Hello, my name's Julian Savalescu. I'm the Professor of Practical Ethics at the University of Oxford. Uh, I'm also originally trained in medicine and I edit the Journal of Medical Ethics. I'd like to talk to you for a couple of minutes about mitochondrial transfer for mitochondrial disease. Every year around 150 children are born with this disease called mitochondrial disease. This leaves them profoundly weak, uh, often unable to walk, with um, learning difficulties, dementia uh, and heart disease. And in some cases it kills them in the first year of life. There is a new procedure that would cure mitochondrial disease called mitochondrial transfer. I believe that this should be approved in the United Kingdom just as organ transplantation is already approved. Let me explain why. Our body is made up of 100 trillion cells, tiny building blocks that make up the liver, the lungs, the kidneys, the brain. Each of these cells is identical. It looks like a microscopic fried egg. The yolk is called the nucleus. It contains the DNA, the instructions for the cell. It tells the cell whether to become a liver cell or a nerve cell. Outside, the white, is the workshop this is what does the work of those instructions. Tiny organelles or mini organs uh, do the, the work instructed by the DNA. One of these organelles is the mitochondria. One theory is that these mitochondria were originally bacteria taken up by the cell. They provide energy for the cell uh, and no other real it functions. In mitochondrial disease, these, these, these organelles, these mitochondria, just don't work. But mitochondrial transfer would allow the replacement of these diseased uh, mitochondria with healthy mitochondria, just as we could replace a diseased kidney in a child with a healthy kidney from another person. Nobody today has objections to kidney or liver transplantation for children. In the same way, I don't believe we should object to mitochondrial transfer. It does require IVF. It has to be done at the various earliest stage of human development. An egg is taken from uh, a donor woman and its nuclear material, its DNA, is removed so that all you remain is with the white, essentially, and healthy mitochondria. The woman who has the disease, her DNA is placed into this, into this enucleated egg. But essentially all the instructions that matter come from the woman who has the mitochondrial disease. But the baby will be born without this catastrophic disease. This is sometimes misleadingly called three-person IVF by the media. Uh, but I think this is very wrong. Uh, it's true that the mitochondria have a tiny amount of DNA of their own, but all of the instructions that matter all of the characteristics that are important from our parents come from the nuclear DNA. If you had one child who'd had a mitochondrial transfer and another child who didn't, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. They would both be a mixture of their parents' characteristics, height, weights, eye colour, skin colour, and so on. Indeed, kidneys and livers from other people contain DNA from those donors. But nobody would say a child who's had a kidney transplant has three parents now. Nor is this a slippery slope to genetic engineering and designer babies. The instructions that matter, the instructions that could create designer babies are in the nuclear DNA, and that comes from two parents in the conventional way. Every year, 150 children are born with this condition, and you have the power to cure them. In many ways, this new procedure is superior to ordinary transplantation. First of all, Dangerous immunosuppressive drugs aren't necessary. Secondly, it cures the disease forever. But there's one important difference. With this disease, there's no waiting. It either has to be done at the moment of conception or there's nothing you can do about it. It's your choice how to vote, but I strongly urge you to vote yes. This is microtransplantation. It's an extension of human transplantation using microsurgical procedures, transplanting healthy mitochondria into people whose mitochondria don't work. It's an extraordinary advance, but one that's had seven years of evaluation. As far as we know, it's a safe technique, and it offers the prospect of a permanent cure 
for 150 children a year, 1,500 a decade. Please vote yes for this procedure. Thank you.